Welcome back to the channel. As you know, I like to keep you updated when things change, especially when it comes to Nvidia drivers and VR settings, and of course VR headsets. Well, in this video, I'm running the brand new Nvidia driver version 560.81, which was released yesterday, the 6th of August. Now, what you're seeing at the moment is me flying over Dublin with full photogrammetry in the Quest 3, locked at 40 frames per second using motion reprojection. Without motion reprojection, with my 4090, I'm getting around 75 frames per second, which isn't quite native. That's why I prefer to use the Stellar SSW technique with virtual desktop using OpenXR integration. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. Now with my test, I've been using both the Crystal Light via XR4 and of course the Quest 3. In each case, I'm actually really impressed with this new driver. I'm not getting any performance problems, that is stutters and lag, that I've experienced with the previous two NVIDIA drivers. And this footage, well, this is part of a full day of flying that I've been doing today. I've had an absolute blast, let me tell you and flying over the UK and Ireland update. It's really, really impressed me. Just look at the details here on offer. I'm super, super impressed. I know many of you out there are quite picky with the way the buildings look, but this is a flight simulator, guys. It's not walking simulator. And honestly, I think it's superb. So I'm glad to say the 560.81 driver is a winner. I really like it and I've now changed this driver for the foreseeable future. Let me know how you're getting on with this new driver, but thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.